hello siblings and welcome back to my channel if you're new make sure to hit that subscribe button today we are going to be figuring out what my style is in one quick video I decided to do this because it'll save me a lot of money when shopping I'm also trying to get rid of a bunch of clothes but I don't know what to get rid of right now in this video I'm going to decide what my style is start getting mostly that kind of clothes so I've come up with three categories that I feel like I dress like the most and that is the tumbler or visco girl these clothes are just more like girly stuff that you would see like a basic teenage girl wearing you know what i'm talking about the second look is more of a skater girl vibe i feel like i've had this vibe for a long time tomboy clothes maybe more boyish clothes stuff you would see you know at the skate park and then there's more of the grunge look the quote unquote billy eilish look lately i've been dressing a lot like this and i really like it so let's see how i feel about it I'm gonna be rating each outfit in three categories and that is, is it comfortable? Do I feel confident in it? And does it feel like me? Before we continue with today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about today's sponsor, Simple Health. So Simple Health is an online platform where you can get birth control. Birth control is a very personal thing no matter what the reason is that you are taking it, it's great to have an online platform that you can now order online instead of having to go into a doctor's office and get that prescription. So Simple Health makes it super easy because you just talk to a doctor online, they help you out, they help you discover which kind of birth control you want to use, and then they send it to your doorstep with no labels on it, super private and easy for you. Simple Health makes the process of getting birth control very easy and less of a hassle. Access to a doctor or insurance should never stop a woman from being able to get birth control. That's my cat. So Simple Health cuts out all of those obstacles. Birth control is a personal choice, so Simple Health makes it super easy by not putting labels on their boxes on your doorstep. It's just between you and your phone. Quick disclaimer, Simple Health is not a replacement for your routine valuations by your primary care physician or a gynecologist. That being said, if you guys want to try it for free by having the $20 prescription fee taken off, then use my code SIDMCGEE at checkout or go to simplehealth.com slash SIDMCGEE. Simple Health only offers trusted brands of birth control. Licensed doctors help design the product and review each patient with care. The best part about Simple Health is that it is super affordable. Birth control is free with most insurance plans, but if you don't have insurance, it starts out at $15 a month. And the delivery is free for everyone. The annual prescription is only $20, but my viewers get to try out for free by having that $20 fee waived by once again using my code SIDMCGEE at checkout or going to simplehealth.com slash SIDMCGEE. In this day and age, everything is online, so why are you still go to doctors and wait in pharmacy lines to get prescriptions for your birth control when you can easily do it online with Simple Health? So, go check it out in the description below and let's keep going with this video. First, we're going to start in the Tumblr Girl category. My first girly outfit is just this plain yellow shirt. This is from American Eagle. And then I paired that with this white pair of overalls from Dolls Kill. They're kind of distressed at the bottom and that's really cute. I paired these with this yellow pair of bang shoes. This outfit is a 10 out of 10 on comfort. These overalls are super stretchy and the shirt is really comfy. This is probably a 7 out of 10 on confidence. I feel like I look too girly and the overall like chops up my body so it has a weird figure. And I would give it like a 7 out of 10 on feeling like myself in this outfit. It's not something I could really picture myself wearing. Maybe just for like an Instagram photo shoot or like a date night or picnic. I don't know if it's really like a day-to-day cinnamony -day type of vibe. So overall, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. For my second Visco outfit, I chose this shirt from Brandy Melville. And then I paired that with these shorts from Forever 21. They are blocked colors, which is super retro and cool. And then the back has these white pockets and is blocked. And I paired that with this pair of black and white vans. This outfit, I'm going to rate a 7 out of 10 on comfort level. Just because these shorts are definitely like a size or two sizes too small. But they are so freaking cute. I just wish they fit. This is a 9 out of 10 on confidence. The only reason I'm giving it a 9 is just because the shorts are a little bit tight, which makes me feel like my thighs are way bigger than they are. And then I give it a 10 out of 10 on feeling like me because I like to be a little bit out there. So these blocking like retro shorts are kind of perfect for me. So overall, I'm going to rate this outfit a 9 out of 10. 
And my last Visco Girl outfit is this plain cropped shirt. It's from Princess Polly. And I paired that with light wash distressed jean shorts from American Eagle. And I paired that with my chunky filas. I sold my soul to a Illuminati for a white chick and a new Ferrari. Boy, JK, I am hardly the type to sell my soul for money. All right, this outfit I'm going to rate a 8 out of 10 on confidence. This shirt is a little bit short for me, and I'd probably wear more high waisted pants if I were to wear it. Comfort level, this is going to be down like 7 out of 10 because these shorts are a little tight, and sitting in jean shorts, the worst thing ever. I hate wearing jean shorts but I know they're cute, so that's why I wear them. But you know, sometimes you gotta sacrifice for style. As far as feeling like me, I'm gonna give it a eight out of 10. So overall, I'm gonna rate this outfit a nine out of 10. I think it's really cute. It's just not as comfortable as I would like. Next up, we have the skater girl category. My first skater girl outfit is very skater with this element t-shirt. It does not get more skater than an element shirt. And then I paired them with this black distressed pair of jean shorts from American Eagle that has this cute little chain on it. And I paired that with this pair of classic platform black vans. I don't know why they're so dirty, so don't ask. <laughs> comfort once again as i said i hate jean shorts but these shorts are really stretchy so they're not as bad as my other ones i would say that this is also a 9 out of 10 on confidence also these shoes are platform vans so i'm not insecure about my height but i do hang out with people who are all six feet and over so it's nice to have a little bit of height on myself when i can but it really does feel like myself my second skater girl outfit is this super simple cropped black long sleeve shirt from forever 21 and i paired that with this skirt also from forever 21 and tied all together just some classic air force ones i love this outfit i am going to rate it a 9 out of 10 on comfort. My confidence in this is definitely a 10 out of 10. I think that this all like goes really well with my figure. I love long sleeve shirts. And of course my shoes have a tiny bit of platform which makes me a little more confident. I'm also gonna give this a 10 out of 10 on feeling like myself. This outfit is actually probably one of my favorites just because it's a really, really good mix of the Visco Girl, Grunge, and Skater. It puts it all together, which are the three that I'm contemplating. So this is definitely one of my favorite outfits ever. I'm gonna overall rate this a 10 out of 10. My third skater outfit is this long sleeve striped shirt. This is from Doll's Kill. It's basically a dress. It's an oversized t-shirt. Billie Eilish vibes, you know how it goes. And I paired this with a classic pair of Doc Martens. <laughs> this outfit. It is just so easy to put on and it's so simple yet so cute. I'm going to rate this a 10 out of 10 on comfort. Confidence is a 9 out of 10. It is baggy so of course it kind of just makes me look like one big box. There's no like shape to me but also I kind of like that because then it's like what do I look like? I don't know. Who cares? This is also perfect because I could wear it in the summer or the winter and as far as feeling like myself definitely 10 out of 10. So overall I'm going to rate this a 10 out of 10. And last but not least, we have the grunge category. My first grunge outfit is this really pretty dress from Doll's Kill. It has a little tie in the back, it buttons all the way up the front, it has stars on it. And then I paired it with these fishnet leggings. And then I paired that with these like heeled combat boots. I don't know where I got these, some random shoe place where I live, so don't ask. <laughs> another one of my favorite outfits because it incorporates space which I love as well as like zodiac sign type stuff and then the the tights and the heel oh my gosh I'm thriving comfort level definitely a 10 out of 10 I feel 10 out of 10 confident in this and it definitely feels like something I would wear so 10 out of 10 on feeling like myself overall I'm also going to rate this a 10 out of 10 Wow, I just keep putting on all my favorite outfits and I don't know what to do, help. My second grunge outfit is this plain black crop top. This is from Brandy Melville 
and I paired it with this skirt, not a skirt, but you flip it to the back. It's a skirt that comes with a chain, and I got that from Forever 21. And I paired this with a pair of all black high top Converse. <laughs> out of breath from trying things on and spinning in them and I'm just one more outfit to go. This outfit is actually the outfit I wore when I dyed my hair purple. Comfort level, this is a 9 out of 10. The skort situation is a 10 out of 10. I need way more skorts in my life. They're just really hard to find. But the shirt is very tight, so I'm not a huge fan of that. Plus, it's really thick. Confidence is a 10 out of 10. I feel like it splits my body up really nicely to where I feel really snatched and looking good. And feeling like myself, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. If you can't tell by my energy, I do feel like myself in this. I don't know, it just, it really feels good. I'm gonna rate this one a nine out of 10. My last grunge outfit. This starry space shirt slash dress thing from Princess Polly. And I paired it with these Dolls Kill shoes. They're just checkered combat boots, basically. <laughs> burning calories. I've burned 127 calories filming this video. Anyway, this outfit, if you don't follow me on Instagram watching any of my other videos, I've worn this way too many times. It is a dress question mark, a shirt question mark, I don't know, that's what I love about it. Confidence, 10 out of 10. I love not wearing pants. I love feeling flowy and free. Comfort, 10 out of 10. Once again, love not wearing pants flowy and comfy and feeling like myself 10 out of 10 like i said again i love space so the whole star situation really feeling like myself and i also love like a little bit of retro so the checkers making me feel like myself i'm gonna rate this an overall 10 out of 10 i'm gonna go sit down talk about the rest of everything and drink some water wow Continuing. So in conclusion, I felt that in the Visco Tumblr Girl outfits, I didn't rate any of them too high. The skater clothes, I had a lot of high ratings in. I do love that style. It feels a lot like me and it kind of brings me back to like my childhood, middle school, all that good stuff, kind of feeling like a skater girl. But I think now growing up and finding my style, I'm gonna say that overall my style that I like the most is the grunge look. I still like to incorporate all three looks into my style, but you'll definitely see me wearing the Visco Girl stuff a lot less then you'll start seeing me in the grunge looks and you can already start to see that on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and once again, if you are new, make sure to subscribe and go watch some of my other videos. My room tour will be coming soon. I've been getting asked that a bunch since I remodeled my room. Once again, thank you to Simple Health for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.